By now, you learned how to add text, how to use track matting, how to reveal something, and this should be now no problem for you. Let me select the rectangle, and this will be my first mat for the tagline. And this will be super simple. Just create an object, and this object should cover up until this point. So it's exactly lined up with the animation we already have. Let me place it on the bottom, just above the background. Uh, this is shape layer number 4 and I'll change its color to purple so I see that this is something else than above here. And okay, this is my second line or tagline hider, revealer, whatever you want to call this. Okay, I'll close it because we don't need this anymore. Now I'll select text and this will be my tagline and my tagline can go like like my website or the tagline should be better okay next a bold it can stay next a bold or um, definitely a different color i would like to use the blue color i had before well i think next a rust okay mm, it looks kind of interesting i think i will roll with this and what do we have we need to take the text and place it under under this mask we created. Take the text, select track mat and select we need to select inverted mat because we want it to be hidden here but revealed on the bottom. Now this second mask, this mask layer is hidden because it only deals as a mask. Now we can put animation on this text like P with the position and I think at the beginning the position should be much higher so I'll hide it like this and going forward when the animation slowly finishes like here the text should be slowly revealed okay slowly like that if you want to make sure that it's slowly ease them in take those keyframes place them for example to the left side a little bit and now the animation will happen quicker at the beginning and it will slowly fade at the end now it's up to you, where do you want it? Let's preview this animation if this entire thing works together. I think the tagline appears too quick and the animation is as well too quick. Yeah, now it's much better. You can still tinker around with those keyframes. It's up to you, but I think uh, one, now it's a bit too late. I'm sorry. Actually, I think I don't like this font anymore. Uh, it could be a bit different. It may be a bit quicker. Maybe I'm overdoing this. Um, let's select this and place it a bit forward. Okay. Seems solid, seems solid, but a different, a different font. Yeah, and that's always the designer's trouble. Select a proper font for your design. Uh, it's best if you have something prepared that you know works along with each other. But we have. Don't we have Nexa Light here? Nexa Bold, Nexa Light. So I'm sure they'll work together great and I'll make the text smaller because why not? And I'll go to the end and I'll alter its position because the position should be just under the design a little bit. Okay? And this is my finished animation. Now I would like to show you in the next lesson, it's also very important how you can finally use this in your videos. You should make it appear and make it go away from the screen. There's a trick in After Effects how to do this with time remapping and I'd like to show you this trick.